What we are looking for here on Caterpillar Island is a fishy tree. This tree is in the water. Fish could be living up inside of there. A fishy tree. Look, Agent Tracker sniffing it. Smell anything? She's going through there. Maybe we should dig around here. You see oh, something? It's a metal canteen or something. What is it? Oh, it's a metal box. Oh, oh, it opens, it opens. Okay. <gasps> Binoculars? Binoculars? That I is so gross, what it. is that? It's a note. <gasps> There's a note in there. What is up, adventure agents? Whoa, oh, oh okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, we have our kayaks here, and we are about to have an epic adventure. Axel skydiving, <laughs> whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> Dude, what's your shirt say? Hide and seek champion. Hide and seek champion. DB Cooper, hide and seek champion. Axel's aunt Sarah got him this awesome shirt. So we also got one for Agent Rex here. She got one for him. And puppies like a boss. And I got a shirt. DB Noah. Cooper Skydiving School. Puppies like a boss. Portland, Oregon. Look, Daddy's like <laughs> and a boss. Agent Tracker is like a boss. Yeah, you can help us sniff out some clues, Tracker. But we have one more agent that's missing. Where is she? Of course, it's Agent Piglet here. Are you ready to solve some D.B. Cooper mystery clues? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, agents, so we got our kayaks because on our last episode we figured out that a kid in 1980 found some of the D.B. Cooper treasure money right close to a place called Caterpillar Island on the Columbia River. And we found some clues in an episode even earlier in that that told us to dig near Fishy Tree Caterpillar Island. And so we are gonna head out to Caterpillar Island and see if we can find some clues. Hey, Tracker, are you gonna sniff out the Fishy Tree? Yeah, maybe she could sniff out a fishy tree. She's got a really good nose. She can, yeah. She can sniff out a fish on the tree. Maybe, maybe. That's what it is. I don't know. We don't know she what fishy tree it. means. She We're going to try to figure it out. But first, what's another clue that's unsolved? The Teresa clue mystery, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got to go visit Teresa to see who Big Tune is and bring her the box that we found in our other mystery episodes. Okay, so first we got to call the antique store to make sure that Teresa is working today. Uh, yes, hi. Um, we were wondering if Teresa is working today. Oh, okay. Okay. Aw. Well, it, uh, okay, well, hopefully she gets better. Um, do, uh, do, you, do you know if she'll be in next week? All right, sounds great. Well, uh, tell her we hope she gets better. Uh, this is uh, the adventurers. Thank you. All right, bye. Oh no, she's sick. That sounds kind of suspicious. Though, so, maybe she's really just sick. People get sick. Okay, so Teresa is not working today because she's sick, but she'll be in next week. So I guess we're not going to go visit Teresa today. You want to go to Caterpillar Island? What if the person shooting the gun was Teresa? I don't know. I guess it's possible. <laughs> we heard some gunshots while we were out there again. So what do you guys want to do? I have a good idea. Happy what? what? How about like we see if there's a fishy tree, like a tree that looks like a fish or something. On Caterpillar Island? Yeah. I always said that a, f a, f a tree that looks like a fish. A tree that looks like a fish, yeah. I, I mean, that that's all I could think. So what was the clue? On the caterpillar digging under fishy tree, right? On fishy tree, on. So no. weird. Fishy tree. That sounds fishy. <laughs> so, I guess we're going to Caterpillar Island. Let's see. We got our kayaks. Let's see if yep. it's a fishy tree. Okay, so two things before we go to Caterpillar Island. First, we need to go into this store here, Natural Grocers, and get some adventure snacks, okay? We're out of Nick Sticks, and they carry Nick Sticks here. Second, we need to send a text message to the Real Game Master. So we just sent a text message to the Real Game Master saying, do you know anything about the D.B. Cooper mystery? We haven't done that, we keep forgetting to do that. Maybe the real Game Master knows something about this mystery. All right, let's go in here, get some adventure snacks, and let's head to Caterpillar Island. Ta-da! Nick sticks, grass fed beef jerky sticks. Come back! Okay, so we're gonna get these right here. River, come on over here. Oh, River wants some chips. Oh, you want some chips? Okay, yeah, grab one of those. That'll be your adventure snack, okay? River's getting some Jackson's Honest Chips. A good adventure snack. So we're just gonna buy all the Nick Sticks that they have, the originals. Daddy! All right, we got plenty of adventure snacks. You guys ready to head to Caterpillar Island? Uh -huh. 
Let's do it! Adventure is out to Caterpillar Island! Okay, so it looks like we're getting close here. There's a bathroom. Um, let's see. There's a boat launch right there. Yep, there's a boat ramp right there. I think that's the island. You see that? That channel, we have to cross that channel to get to the island. Okay, let's park and let's launch our boats. Wait, what did you just say, Axel? You guys were just talking about something. Yeah, it's a perfect place to go because it's what it, shady. And, it's shady? Yeah, like, and D.B. Cooper hideout. Right, okay, so and that like, island might be a perfect place for D.B. Cooper hideout. Oh, no. That is so Daddy, true. What? Did we bring the metal detector? Oh, no, we forgot to bring the... the shovel? I brought a shovel. I Good. did bring a shovel. We did not bring a metal detector. Come on, let's get out and get going. All right, are you ready, Agent Piglet? Uh -huh. Okay. Are you ready, Agent Tracker? <gasps> are you ready, Agent Tracker? All right, so who's the cutest agent? Agent Piglet or Agent Tracker? Me. Agent Piglet. <laughs> oh, she's a cute puppy, though. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, so we're carrying our kayaks down to the river. All right, don't launch the boats yet. Okay, Agent, so it looks like what we're up against over there is crossing this channel over, and that is Caterpillar Island. We're kind of on the north side here. Um, so Tina Bar is right over there, but the land is actually owned by someone else now, and we can't go over there. It's illegal to go over there now. Otherwise, I'd say we should go visit where the boy dug up the money. But our clue is leading us to Caterpillar Island, so let's go ahead and head there. I have an idea. What? Maybe. Like he hit it on Caterpillar Island, but it washed up on oh, Santa Barbara. Dude, that's a great idea. Maybe it did. So maybe the rest is still on... Yes, maybe the rest of the money or treasure or whatever is still on Caterpillar Island. Okay, so Agent Tracker and Agent Piglet here are going to be with me on my kayak. It's a little bit bigger. All right, you got to hold her so she doesn't jump in the water, okay? Mm -hmm. You got her? All right. All right, Agent Tracker, let's go. Ugh. Okay, now we're talking. Hey, wait up for me! Daddy, Daddy, I better go in the water, it's okay because I have my phone on. Yes, yes. I we have our life jackets on. Yeah, because right. if they can. I fall when I come back, get right. back in the kayak. Yeah, if we fall in the water, we've got life jackets on, so we'll be A-OK. -okay. okay, so we have made it to the other side, but this bank is pretty steep and pretty muddy here. So I think we're going to try to paddle around to see if we can find a better access point. You guys getting wet? Better on the ramp. Hey, what are you doing? Agent Pikachu's trying to knock us over. Uh-uh. <laughs> Oh. All right, well, let's find a spot so we can get off and dock our boats. Army see something? Yes. Agent Pikachu sees something. What is that? It's a bag. Wait, that's a... What is it? What do you see? It's a chair. It's like a really swampy area over here. Is it? Oh, it's a chair? Maybe D.B. Cooper's chair. Hey, look, it's like a big flotation device right there. It looks there. like there's footprints right there. Is there? Yeah, we're here in this really boggy, muddy area. I'd rather not get out right here. I'd rather find a better spot. 
I don't know if that chair could be a clue. You never know. All right, let's keep moving. Oh. Okay, so it looks like Agent Rex and Pikachu found a spot where we can dock. You see anything? How's it look over there? A house? There's a house? Yeah, the bank here looks like we can, it, it, it's good enough to get out. So let's give it a try. Let's go check out, he said it's a big stone thing or some kind of building. Yeah. Here's a better spot right here. There you go. Here you go. You can get off. You can get off. She's kind of skinny. There you go. There you go. Okay. You see that? I what told you, there's a giant stone thing over there. Okay, hold on, hold on, I'm coming, hold on. All right, let's go see what they're talking about. What is this? It's huge. It's a giant chunk of concrete. How did this get here? This is really strange. Maybe it's a giant it chunk of concrete. I don't know. Oh, look, it's got a rope. There's a rope. Oh, yeah. Right here. It's tied to this tree. That's really fishy. Fishy tree. <laughs> There's a rope tied to a tree. Tied to a giant piece of concrete, and it's fishy, fishy tree. <laughs> Were they trying to anchor it? Oh, wait a minute. This is styrofoam on the inside with concrete on the outside. That is so crazy. I've never seen anything like that. Help me when the water comes in, this probably floats. Oh, and they got it tied to the tree so it doesn't float away. So this is definitely fishy. Do you see any clues around here? Anything under here? Okay, Agent Tracker, sniff it out, okay? You smell anything? She's smelling. Sniff it out, Agent Tracker. There you go. Let us know if you find anything. See anything? Who's going away from it? Where was she digging? He says Agent Tracker was digging over here. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if she'll come back. Oh, I need a shovel. I found something hard under the ground. Okay, so Agent Pickett's got the shovel here. Be careful, Agent Tracker. So we're, we're, Agent Tracker was digging right there, right? Agent Piglet, let's move over here where Agent Tracker was digging, okay? You feel something? Uh -huh. We're digging here to see if we find any clues. I feel something. You feel something? There's some kind of plant there. Oh. I don't see anything else though. Okay, so Agent Pikachu is digging deep now. Let's see. Oh, there's something hard. What is that? Is that a root? <laughs> There's something there. That's a root. That's a root. What we are looking for here on Caterpillar Island is a fishy tree. Okay, let's keep moving. Now we need to stick together. This is a big island. We can get lost. Oh, we don't know what is here. What do you got? A spear. A weapon. Nice. In case we run into old DB. This Could like DB have hid out here this looks for all like this time? I don't know. Ah, here's a tree. A beaver. A beaver tree. <laughs> That's not a fishy tree. That beaver ate that tree up. Okay, so we're getting into some dense forest here. Fire pit! A Fire, camp! A camp? Really? Okay, so there's some kind of camp over here. Uh, I think that's just some logs spread out. What'd you find? More styrofoam. Oh, some more styrofoam. No, there's a hole way deep in it. Styrofoam? Is it hollow? No, I think that's solid no, styrofoam. Look, this, this would be a good raft for DB Yeah, Cooper. that's true. Oh, what if DB Cooper floated down the river to here? Whoa, careful. That's really hard. Uh, what if the money's stashed in here? Let's see. Whoa! Oh, there's a hole there. Right. Hmm. Daddy, there's a I don't know. Okay, Aiden Tracker, there you go. Aiden Tracker, we're giving her some Nick sticks. There you go, Aiden Tracker. That's yummy. There you go. <laughs> You gotta feel your pet agents too. Okay, so now we're breaking out into an opening here. And there is the mighty Columbia River. Oh my gosh, there's a beach here. Yep, it's a big river. It flows all the way to the ocean. Have we found anything that looks like a fishy tree? Not 
yet. Wait, we can look out from the top of that hill. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's head that way. All right, so we're gonna head along the beach here and keep your eyes peeled for a fishy tree. Maybe that means like a fish carving on a tree or a tree that looks like the shape of a fish. Yeah, so, yes, yeah, so we're very close to the area. Make a fire. That's how the kid found it. Yes, hey, you're right. That's how that nine-year-old boy right close by found the money, originally D.B. Cooper money. He was out with his dad and he said, hey dad, let's make a fire right over here. And he started digging like this to make a little area to put the fire and he dug up the money. Dude, wouldn't that be cool if we did that too? That's crazy, just by chance he dug up some of the D.B. Cooper money. So what are you doing with that shovel? Oh, that's a great idea. So, Agent Piglet had an awesome idea. She came up with this all on her own. She said she's making a trail with the shovel, so in case we get lost, we can find our way back. That's such a good idea. Man, Agent yeah, Piglet is really helpful. Here, fishy, fishy tree. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy tree. <laughs> Think that'll make it appear? Man, this tree must be old. That was like 45 years ago. I wonder if like it fell down or something. We should look for a big tree, maybe even a fallen tree. Maybe it's a dead tree. Maybe. Oh look, there's that helicopter we saw earlier. It's flying over. It's carrying some kind of big bucket. I think it might be like fighting a forest fire or something. Oh, look at this gigantic stump. Check this out. This thing is huge. Maybe this is it. Wow. Agent Tracker, you smell anything? Sniff around, come on. Sniff around. I guess she's all out of sniffers. Okay, so we found some big trees here. So we're looking for like something, like a fish symbol or something. Like maybe a carving or something. Pond. Nothing on this tree. There's a pillowcase. What's a pillowcase doing here? That's fishy. A fireplace. There's a fireplace right there. And there's the pillow for the pillowcase. A pillow? A pillowcase. <gasps> oh, a pillow to go with that pillowcase. Maybe D.B. Cooper was like sleeping here. Okay, yeah, there's some kind of fire pit over here. Is there anything inside? Seven up, cherry seven up. Oh, be careful, be careful. Look at oh, oh. Sorry. Whoa, that scared me. <laughs> Agent Rex knocked that off. I thought somebody was jumping out at us. Oh, it had some kind of chimney on it. It just fell off when you hit it with a stick. What there's a pillow, a pillowcase, maybe it's some kind of camp here. Hey, Agent Piglet. All right, so it looks like we are getting to the end of a line here. Oh, dude, wait a minute. Look, this tree is literally in the water. Yeah. Fish could be living up inside of there. A fishy tree where fish live. Hey, that's a fishy tree. Oh, there's all kind of caves up in here. They gotta have the money in there. Oh yeah, maybe. All right, sniff it out. Look, Agent Tracker sniffing it. There you go, Agent Tracker. Smell anything? She's going through there. What are you doing? You smell something? Maybe we should dig around here. There she is, she's squeezing under there. You smell anything, Agent Tracker? Look! Uh, what? Look. What is it? What? Maybe what is it? Maybe Cooper, like, or he could have put some like branches over here to stay natural. And he could have just like, on the FBI, we're passing by here, he could have just jumped in here. Is this a hideout? He might have Oh, wow. There's a tunnel that leads all the way through. Dude. That wouldn't be a very good hideout though. The water probably comes up here at night. What do you think, Agent Piglet? Mm -hmm. You think that tree's kind of fishy? Mm -hmm. I think so too. There's definitely something fishy about this tree. It's in the water. Yeah, oh, there's some more trees. Yeah, there's some more trees in the water too. That tree was definitely not alive whenever it happened. That tree over there is too small. But this tree is huge. This is the biggest tree I've seen yet. Let's have a look around it. Do you see anything? Wait, let's dig. Let's, yes, yes, that's a great idea. Let's dig. All right, we brought the shovel. shovel. We shovel. might as well dig. Shovel. Okay, so we're going to dig right here. Those waves are coming in, man. And we better hurry before the tide comes in. Wait. There we go. Did you hear oh, that? Sorry. You hit something? I think so. I heard like a coiny noise. I didn't hear anything. Keep going. See anything? Nope, not really. Nothing? Okay. Well, 
So that right there is Tina Bar. That right there is where the boy found the money. But we can't go there because it's privately owned and they don't allow people there. But our clue doesn't lead us there. Our clue leads us to this island that we're on now, Caterpillar Island. Can one of you guys get up in there? There's a whole lot of growth that's shrouding. See that? Look, it looks like this is just hiding a lot of the view. If we're gonna see like any kind of carvings or anything. See if you can check over there. Stevie Cooper could fit in here. Really? Yeah. We'll see if you can get in there. Look for any kind of hole or markings, fishy markings down oh. there. I'm going up. You're going up? Okay. Okay, so they're going inside there. I'm a little bit too big to fit up in there. If Stevie Cooper does a symbol. All right. Wait, there's something here. You see oh, something? It's a metal canteen or something. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's definitely something canteen? here. Canteen? Hey, we found a canteen before. Or it's some kind of metal thing. What is it? Oh, it's a metal box. Oh, a box? Look. Huh. Look. It's like a flowery design box. Come on, let's open it. You wanna open it? Yeah. You see anything else up there? Give it to us and we'll Nothing open it. Nothing except the fish carving under it. What? What? Nope. <laughs> Give me it. I wanna Pranks see you. Let's bring it down here. No, I wanna open it. Oh, 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 careful, careful. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> There's something inside. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, well, let, let's not open it over the water. <laughs> so did you see anything else up in there? Nope, I'm going to climb it after we open that, though. Okay, all right. All right. Okay, so we're going to open this up, and if we don't find anything, Axel said he's going to climb back up in there. Oh. Agent Pikachu. Whoa. Oh, number one. Whoa. All right, Agent Piglet, you doing okay? Where's Agent Tracker? Right here. Up there? Okay. All right, so we have, this looks like there something you would there like there keep there pencils there. in or something in your house. It looks like there, yeah. there's some kind of hinges right here. So see. I yeah, think this would be the front. Here, let me try my knife. All right. I got my knife here. Uh, let's see if I can pry it open with my knife here. Oh, oh, it opens, it opens. Okay. <gasps> Binoculars? Binoculars? Oh, I know. There's a, oh, yes. That I is so gross. What it. is that? It's a note. No. I think we that found looks the like treasure. An old rat. Oh. What did you say? There's writing. Okay, yeah. there is a note in here. Oh my god. Rat. Yes. No. Well, I just thought it, it was like some old. No. Rat. What? What? Looks, what? Looks like the shark got the best of big tuna, eh? Daddy. The shark? Daddy. Big tuna. Okay, so this is definitely a clue. Big tuna. It's definitely a clue. Okay. We took the cash. Don't worry, duck we left hash. your coop. Wait, 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 what's duck hash? The cash. The cash. But don't worry, we left your Cooper's broken binoculars. Ha ha, the tuna is no match for the shark. Remember that. Wait a minute. Wait, I got an idea. Okay, Maybe yeah, that's like the nickname for someone. The shark? The shark like, and big tuna. Maybe Those two are... enemy leaders. Enemies. Okay, it looks like we've gotten ourselves in the middle of some kind of fight between two gangsters or something? Big Tuna and the shark. I'm gonna read it again. Looks like the shark got the best of Big Tuna, eh? We took the cash, but don't worry, we left you coops, broken knocks. Knocks. Binoc. Oh, binoculars. not like binoculars. Binoculars, yeah, right. Ha ha, the tuna is no match for the shark. Remember dad, dad. This person doesn't know how to spell. Dad, you'll spell that, that. Or maybe they did that on purpose, I don't know. What guy? No, this is, but look, look, this look, is this like is, pirate spelling. This is recent. This doesn't look that old. Now, now this looks old right here. His broken knots, do they work? Wait, see wait, what, wait, can wait, you see wait, anything? Wait, 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 the shark. Do you see anything? Stop no, stop him. There's a note in there, what? <gasps> There is a note in here. Be careful, be careful. Hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, what if they didn't don't, see Don't break it? them, we have to be careful here. Okay, wait, Good. let's see. Yeah, there's a note. Ah, look, look, look. One side doesn't work because it's blocked off by the note. Wait, and so they probably thought they were just broken. Yeah. But they're not broken, they have a note in them. <gasps> so the shark got the cash. So maybe there was cash buried under the tree. 
and he left that there. Gangsters, they do this sometimes. They like to leave their mark. They like to let other people know that they were there. Otherwise, they would have just taken the cash and left. But if these two are in a rivalry, then they would have left a sign for Big Tuna. Hey, Big Tuna, ha ha, we got the cash. It looks like the shark missed out on the big clue, though. Because if there's something in there that's a clue, but well, we don't want to break them. We got to be careful. If Coop got it in here without breaking it, right? It doesn't, it's not broken to me. It doesn't look like broken. Then we can get that note out probably without breaking it, right? Yeah. Look, so, let me look see it, it looks let loose. See. Like he... It does look loose. Okay, be let careful, be careful, be careful. Try. Oh, wait a minute. I have my multi-tool knife and my survival pack. But this sounds kind of dangerous, you guys. It sounds like we got ourselves mixed up between two rivalry mobsters or something yes, like that. All right, so get the multi-tool out. This is a really cool survival knife. It's got all kinds of tools in it. Let's see, what do we got to do here to take this no, apart? No, let me try something. I already got it most way. Okay, whatever we do, we don't want to force it. Whenever you're trying to fix something, take something apart, the last thing you want to do is force it because then it might break. Hold on, let's have a look at it. Do you see any any kind of like screw or is it, we're looking for a screw or screws everything that's manufactured it, it was put together somehow when it's put together there's a way to take it up there's a screw yeah right here ah you're right there's a screw right there okay we're gonna get the knocks and take them apart okay so that is a flathead yep all right let's use that flathead screwdriver and let's unscrew it ah it's working it's working yes <laughs> this is really exciting i am so happy that we found this but i'm also kind of concerned about the big tuna shark thing all right don't lose the screw okay be really careful here give it to me so i can hold it <gasps> yes oh, it came apart it came wait. apart yes right. wait i got it i got it you got it oh yes yes, yes. okay oh we got the note we got the note okay what does it say what does it say it looks kind of ripped it looks kind of ripped yeah it looks kind wait, of ripped. wait 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 where's what? the other note this is the same kind of paper Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, oh no, this got all wet. Oh, well, when we were driving back in the rain in the last episode, this got all wet. Be very careful with it. That, that's gonna rip so easily. All right, so we have the two notes here. Let me see what this one says, okay? Use tuna's filter and Indian map. Okay. Remember that Indian map that we got? Teresa gave it to us. We got the... the... Oh, the book, the book that Teresa gave us. Tuna's filter, what's a filter? filter to filter out <gasps> oh, the binoculars wow. something oh, I don't know oh, no. what does it say PS money is decoy a decoy the money is a decoy so maybe the money that big tuna got was a decoy no no, no that the short got yeah this is getting so confusing can you any of you make sense of this please comment down below this is getting so confusing does it fit together mm -hmm. same thing look sign coop sign coop look and it's that same shaky look, writing. Look, Daddy, I have an idea. What? Maybe he knew the shark was like coming, so like he decided <gasps> what would be a good way to throw him off. Decoy oh. money. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so maybe DB Cooper knew about this shark character, and he was trying to help Big Tuna because he knew the shark would be after his money. Maybe. DB Cooper or Dan Cooper uh -huh. had like a gang, so like Big Tuna, him, Teresa, and a whole bunch of other people. Maybe, maybe this is all one big network, and, and maybe Teresa just wanted to get out of it and wash her hands of it, and that's why she said, "I want to wash my hands of this." All we can do now is the only thing we know to do, which is go see Teresa, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. On our next episode, we're gonna go see Teresa. Okay, so Axel and Darian are climbing back up the tree to see if they can find any more clues up there. And while they're doing that, I thought this would be cool. I'm gonna read this note like I was a mobster, okay? Looks like the shark got the best of big tuna, eh? We took the cash, but don't worry. We left your coops broken knocks. Ha <laughs> ha, the tuna is no match for the shark. Remember that. That sounds more like it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we got ourselves mixed up in between two people trying to hunt for this db cooper treasure so take that the shark the adventurers got the best of you we got the clue that you thought were just broken binoculars ha <laughs> ha it looks like we got a lot to do here agents we're gonna need your help so please comment down below if you can make any sense of this we really like some help from you and when you comment down below be sure to mention your agent name so in case you do come up with something good we can give you credit all right well remember life is an adventure and love is a key and we love you what does love mean? Uh, you care about someone and you do you stuff nice. 
Yeah. Do things for them, okay? You care about someone. Mm -hmm. Does love mean being mean to someone? No. no. But what if uh, someone is doing something not so good to someone that you love? You tell them no, and if they don't stop, you like push them away. Or... Push them away? Maybe sometimes love can be something that uh, doesn't seem like very loving. You know what, one time I had a really good friend. He was my best friend. And one time there was this kid who was trying to beat him up. I didn't hate that kid. But when he started to try to beat up my best friend, I did something that might not seem like it was very loving to him. You want me to show you what I did to him? Yeah. All right, who should I demonstrate it on? Me. You? Okay. Okay, so Axel's gonna pretend that he was my best friend. Darian's gonna play the part of the kid who's trying to beat him up. Start trying to beat him up. Stop it, stop it. Stop doing that. <laughs> That's what I did. I jumped on him. I grabbed him around the neck and I dropped him to the ground. I wasn't hating him, I didn't hate him. I was just stopping him from doing the mean thing that he was doing. And it did it in the best way possible without hurting the kid as much as I could, right? And that was me loving my friend, but it was also me loving that kid. See, I was like, I love you so much that I'm gonna stop you from doing something bad to someone else. So sometimes loving people can look a little bit different than you might think it does. Loving people can mean, hey, I love you, I'm gonna stop you from doing something really bad. Okay, agents, so we are back at our office right now, at the agent office, and we have a problem. We have a double agent, right? Mm -hmm. agent, agent Tracker turned on us. We bit <laughs> Agent Pikachu's <laughs> hand. <laughs> and Pikachu shocked her back. Just kidding. She is not a double agent, but she did bite his hand because she's a puppy and she's being playful. And Agent Pikachu shocked her badly. <laughs> yeah. And Axel has actually been in the hospital for the past few days. For the past week. Because he got a bad infection from the bite. It was actually some bacteria that was on his skin and it injected that bacteria deep into his finger. So it wasn't bacteria from Agent Tracker. It was from him, actually. So agents, I was thinking about something. Just recently when we were recording this epic adventure on Caterpillar Island, that weekend was Memorial Day weekend here in the U.S. And do you know what Memorial Day is? When you remember the people that died in World War. Yes, Wars. yes. Mm -hmm. The people that have sacrificed. The people that have sacrificed so that we could have, th that we could live and have our freedoms that we have today here in the U.S. and all around the world. And so I wanted to talk about that. I wanted to talk about some very specific people who have sacrificed in the past so that we could have um, our freedoms today. So one of these people that we want to thank today is actually my grandfather, your great grandfather. Yeah, his name is Derek South and uh, here he is. So this is your great grandfather here. Mm -hmm. And then that's you. Yes, exactly. That is me <laughs> and this is my dad here and this is his dad, three generations here. Um, like, your face looks the same, but the rest of you looks <laughs> so different. Yeah, it looks quite a bit different. Yep, that is me when I was young. And your hair doesn't look so, like, fluffed up. Yeah. <laughs> your hair is, like, sleek. Kind of, yep. Uh-huh. So I want to show you something. He fought in a war called World War II. And we just watched a few videos about this war, right? Yeah. Oh, sword fight it or gun? Gun. Uh, so he was on, he was in, Nunchucks. he was in the Navy and th those are actually bullet shells. And he was on this ship right here those are... called the USS Pennsylvania. And this is a depiction right here. This picture is a depiction of a battle that went on and he, it, the USS Pennsylvania was a warship and, and your great granddad, my granddad, Derek South was a, um, he was one of the gunmen. He was on the anti-aircraft uh, guns. And so that means he had to shoot a gun on the ship that would shoot enemy planes down, uh, specifically Japanese planes. At the time, we were at war with Japan. We are not More at war with Germany. Japan now. Uh, we were at war with both Japan and Germany. They were allies to each other. And so, um, it, and so he would protect the troops as they were trying to land on some islands in the Gulf Coast. And 
there were all the weak North Coast. Yes, yeah, so he would shoot down planes that were trying to bomb our troops as they were we were letting them land on the islands, and he would shoot down snipers that were on up in the palm trees. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was October 25, 1944. Yeah, that's when this picture was. And uh, he would shoot down planes. And uh, and then also, and, and so here's a, here's a picture of his medals, yes, that he's gotten. Silver Star, and, uh, and there's a number of medals here that he was awarded. And at one point, do you know what a torpedo is? Yeah, it's one of those things that you shoot in the water and it just gets... Yeah, it's an underwater bomb. He... His ship, the USS Pennsylvania, was torpedoed. It blew a big hole in the side of the ship in uh, Okinawa, in Japan. And so imagine being in a ship and hearing, oh no, the ship got hit by a giant torpedo and there's water rushing in. And it didn't sink the ship, but that had to be pretty scary. And now, Axel, I want to show you another person. Do you know, you know, Granddad, his wife, um, Bunny South, um, she... Bunny? Bunny, yeah, that's that's her name. Bunny, bunny rabbit? Sal. Yeah, like a bunny rabbit. Isn't that neat? Uh-huh. So, her brother was in the same war. World War II. Oh, James. Yes, yes, yes. My great-uncle James. And he was in the same war, but he was fighting in a different front. And he fought in this particular battle. And this battle was one of the key battles. In fact, some say it is the most key battle for us winning this war. Oh, and he fought in it? And he fought in it. Now, we just watched that, the D-Day. Mm -hmm. He fought in a battle on a day called D-Day. This battle was the largest seaborne invasion in history. And everyone who went in to fight this battle, they knew that there was a very big chance that they would not go home. Probably like... That they would die. 80% of them died and got very, all of them got wounded. Well, many of them got wounded. And so, um, my great uncle James, the, this is a picture of him right here. There's a picture of him there, and there's a picture of his daughter. She was three years old, just like River is. And that's his wife right there. You see that? She looks a little bit like River too. Uh, maybe a little bit. River is related to her, and her name is Dorothy Joe, and she is still alive today. Um, but he is not old alive. Is um, I don't know how old she is now, but she was three years old then, and uh, he was killed in action. He was, yes, he was. He died that day on the beach. You, that video you saw of the men running up on the beach and dying. He, one of them he was there. one of those men. Mm -hmm. Your great great uncle James. Oh, so I saw him in there, but you well, just don't know no, where no, was. that was a reenactment. Um, but he died, um, and you know what he died for though? What? He died for this little girl right here. He died for his wife. He died for for River, for you, and for me. He was willing to go out there and fight for us. Granddad, Derek, my granddad, your great granddad, he was willing to risk his life because there were many, many uh, a, a Japanese planes trying to bomb that ship. And, and the torpedo that they tried to shoot tried to, to destroy the ship and sink it and kill all the sailors on there. And so, but he was willing to risk his life. And did you know, Axel, you know what we were talking about with, uh, with Darian and how I, I, got my friend, uh, got that kid who was trying to beat up my friend mm -hmm. and, um, and, and tried to uh, keep him from hurting my friend, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not because I hated him, but it's because when you have people you love, you're willing to do, you, you must be willing to do things sometimes that might not look so loving to protect them. Yeah, and so... Wait, why did you grab that guy on top of you and not hold him under you? Um, because that's just how it worked out. That's just how it worked out. Oh, because you had to sneak up behind him. I had to sneak up behind him. I had to kind of like, yep, sneak up behind him. And there's a man once named Jesus who said something about love. And he said, greater love has none than this, than he who would lay down his life for his friend. And so um, my granddad, your great granddad, my uncle, great uncle James, and so many people, we are here alive today because 
there have always been people who are willing to, out of love for everyone else, they probably had to who have been willing over to time. risk their lives to fight evil. They probably didn't just like think about it for like 30 seconds. They probably thought about it for a few days. Maybe, or maybe, maybe they didn't even think about it. Maybe they, it wasn't even thought in their mind. No, I know there is evil trying to attack and I will fight it. And so for Memorial Day, the Memorial Day has already passed by the time you're watching this, but for Memorial Day, we want to take some time to thank my granddad and thank my great uncle James for the sacrifice that they were willing to make in order for us to have the freedoms that we have today and to live the way we live today. And thank everyone else who has been willing to do that in the past. And it's important to understand that and to, to, to remember that. And that's why we have Memorial Day like this. So thank you, Granddad, and thank you, well, it's Great like Uncle how James. Hicked up fought against that evil guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we, we tell stories and reenactments like the dragon videos Axel was watching. Um, that some of you may have seen. So remember, maybe you know someone who has had to make that sacrifice, or maybe you know someone who had a family member who has had to make that sacrifice and been willing to do it. Be sure to go ahead and thank them whenever you have the opportunity for their sacrifice, for the sacrifice of their family member. Um, and actually, you know what? You know that money that we got from the treasure that we were thinking, who could we give this to? Mm -hmm. Well, just like our great uncle James is willing to die um, so, that, so that we could have our freedoms and leave his little girl and his wife alone without, without a husband, well, there are many people today that have been willing to do that just now. There are people alive right now, families, mothers, probably, fathers. Probably right now someone children. just decided to fight in a war. Yeah, and die. And they left a family without, um, without, uh, without a mother or a father. And so I think we should give that treasure money to them, to those people. They have charities that, that, that they help those people out, right? And yeah, so, but which one are we going to give it to? I don't know. We're going to pick a good one. We'll put a link down below to that charity, and you can donate it to, to it, too, if you'd like to. Um, so we'll find a, a good one that's reputable, and, and we'll donate our treasure money to them, okay? To their families. To the families of those who've been willing to sacrifice for us. All Especially right, well, if both of them have sacrificed. Yeah. Like, in their aunt and that, have to I think care. that may have happened, yeah. Okay, so if you want to find out what happens next on this mystery, go ahead and click on the video you see popping up right now. If you don't see a video popping up, it's because we haven't made it yet. You'll have to wait until next Saturday. Well, again, we love you and we think you're awesome. We'll see you later. Bye. Hey, where's Agent Piglet? What is that? I hear something. Oh, it's Agent Piglet. <laughs> I love you, Agent Piglet. Bye.